This is new tonight. We all know how expensive medical care can be and how hard it's been to contain the rise of health care costs. But did you know that every year billions of dollars of unused or reusable medical supplies are simply tossed in the trash? John Keller has more on a wasteful practice we all end up paying for. John? Yeah, Paula Liam, it happens for a variety of reasons. Still working equipment scrapped when newer models are bought. Strict inf infection control rules that result in perfectly usable stuff getting tossed. Whatever the reason, it's enough to make you shake your head and say, what a waste. A warehouse near Portland, Maine, piled high with millions of dollars worth of ready-to-use medical supplies. An unremarkable sight until visitors realize everything in here was rescued from the trash. They're just incredulous as to, you know, the fact that so much of this material has, is being thrown out and wasted. And, and the reality of it is it doesn't, doesn't need to be, you know, it really doesn't. This is the work of Partners for World Health, an eight-year-old nonprofit group that collects these supplies and ships them to health care facilities in need both here and abroad. According to the investigative website ProPublica, some estimates peg health care waste like this at more than $760 billion a year, enough to cover the total health insurance costs of 150 million Americans headed for a landfill unless groups like Partners for World Health step in. After we sort and organize all these items, we're helping those people that are less fortunate than we are. This is a win-win. This lowers our health care costs, prevents an impact on our environment, and at the same time helps people that are in need. The group's website reports donations from dozens of hospitals in Maine, but only from these five in Massachusetts, the nation's unofficial health care capital. Now, we reached out to the Massachusetts Hospital Association for comment, and they sent us a statement describing the industry's efforts to improve hospital energy efficiency, reduce operational costs, reform antibiotic use, promote a tobacco-free workforce, and serve healthier food. What they didn't say? Anything about medical supply waste. Are you seeing something that makes you think what a waste? I want to hear about it. Reach out via email at keller at wbztv.com and we'll take a close look at it. Liam, Paula. John Keller, thank you very much.